Hi, this is Mark from Microblog, and today we're going to talk about OneNote and OneNote 2016, and let's start them. So this is the OneNote, which comes pre-installed with Windows 10. It's basically the app version, which also is downloaded from the App Store. And there's OneNote 2016, which is part of the Office uh, suite. So let's have them side by side. And I prepared a little bit uh, to show you one of the differences and uh, what's basically it. I think this is a good way to start. And the OneNote 2016 app is much more powerful than the OneNote app. But the OneNote app, again, still has its cool lead, uh, whoa, its cool neat tricks. And I'll show you some of those. But let's start with the regular OneNote. And I found a video on the internet which basically sums up the differences about OneNote app and OneNote 2016. So this is in German, but basically the same in English. Let's insert an online video, which is new in OneNote 2016. Let's watch it and we learn what's the difference. So we are different people. We speak different languages. Huh? We have different faces, but inside we are same, same. Same, same. same, same. But different, but still same. <laughs> exactly, that's the point. Um, OneNote app and One 2016, they have different faces, so you could say different front ends, but basically they're the same. Same, same, but different, but still the same. And we take a look at this right now. So the first thing you probably will notice is, um, like I said, they look a little bit different, but then again, they fairly are the same. Um, but as you can see here, One or 2016 has a lot of more, a lot more ribbons, a lot more functions basically. Um, and the navigation structure is a little bit different. So let's look at this because uh, when you start OneNote app, you see um, all your recent pages on the left side here. So you see I had a lot of work in the last few weeks or few days, uh, not that much fun. This is basically a chronological order of all the OneNote notebooks or pages more like them, all the OneNote pages which are opened in OneNote and uh, I edited them last. So. Uh, the far, the more I go back in time, um, yeah, you basically can see it, um, the more uh, at the end of my list is this. In one of 2016, um, you have a whole different structure at the first glimpse at least. Um, you have your notebooks on your left side, you have your uh, chapters here, and in each chapter you have your different pages. Yeah. So, you can have this in the OneNote app too, of course. Um, all you have to do is you have to click on the hamburger menu and uh, select the uh, notebook you want to edit. And this is the paperless experiment. And now you can see these are the different chapters or sections as they are called in OneNote. And um, so right now we're in the same um, section in both notebooks. You had to see the OneNote app had to um, load those. And what you can see now, the OneNote app is much more touch friendly basically because it uh, allows you to scroll through it with your finger. Although I'm using a mouse right now, I know that, but I think it's better for you to view it in the video right now. And another cool feature is that uh, in the uh, page in the page list you see a miniature miniature picture of what's on the page. Sometimes this really works good, like here, like you really can see one note structure, and uh, sometimes it doesn't work that good, like you can see in this one here, uh, because this was a very large picture. It only showed a little part of it, and for this brainstorming again. Um, you get the idea that there is something which has to do with brainstorming, but you really have to open the page uh, to see what it is. Then again here, same, same, but different. Um, it shows basically what's on that page. So what I did now, I switched the Camtasia monitor and I'm on my surface right now. That's probably why this video will have a little bit of different uh, resolution, but I think I'll manage it in the uh, post-production. The OneNote 2016, so the Office version, is uh, much more friendly for mouse and keyboard than the uh, OneNote app. You can basically do that in the OneNote app too, um, but I think the OneNote app is for handwriting. And I use it a lot, for example, when I'm in meetings or in university, I basically use the OneNote 
app all the time. Another reason for that is because the OneNote app starts with the click of uh, the click of the Surface Pen. So if you click the Surface Pen, it's in the OneNote app. You can see all the last pages you edited. Um, you can navigate really quickly through it. You can like this one here. This was in um, yeah, this was basically a meeting where this is the PowerPoint presentation where I did some notices. And what you see now when I do an edit here, which is basically just a quick stroke, it's uh, back at the top of my list. Let's see, and you see how it moves up in the list. And here again, moves up in the list. And the reason why the OneNote app is so great for inking and handwriting is because it's um, very light, very fast, and uh, very clean, as you can see here. So if it's in full screen, you go to the draw ribbon, you have your different pen colors here. Um, you can do the handwriting. And yeah, that's basically the good thing about this app, I think. And uh, when you go to view, you can have the, um, no, you, you have to go to draw and have the uh, full screen mode, which even is more, um, more space for you to write. So I think in a conclusion, um, you can say OneNote is same, same, but different. I hope you get the point. If you have any questions, please ask them. I will do a lot of more videos about OneNote. My challenge was to do one video every week for YouTube. I hope I'll stick to it. This is the second week and it's my second video. So right now I'm very good on track. I hope you liked what you saw. Any questions, feel free to comment. If you don't want to miss a video, please hit subscribe. Thank you very much.